Hey, coaches. Coach E here with Eight Man Breakdowns. Let's get started. Today, we're going to be breaking down the bench concept in Eight Man. What we'll do today is go through a couple different route combos from the bench concept and break down a couple variations out of Eight Man spread formations. So, here we'll first start with a true spread formation two by one look here. Um, let me switch it over to the huddle playbook. Okay, so here we go. We got a two by one. So first of all, while I'm putting the defense back out here, so I view the bench concept as a variation of the smash concept because it has a it features a corner route, also has some sort of a flat route, making it a high low read for your quarterback. But it can also be identified with other concepts such as sail or even stick, honestly. Um, but anyways, I, that's why I kind of associate it with with uh, smash concept. So we'll get into this here. Actually, let me center this up a little. All right. So the, the bench play that I probably see the most or see as the most common is with the first receiver running that four to six yard out route. So here's the first receiver, four to six yard out route. The second receiver running the eight to 10 yard corner route. So that'd be the F here, eight to 10 yard corner. And I always say we always aim for front pylon. The reason for that being it's a tough throw either way. A corner out is always a tough throw. And rather than leading them way down the field to the back pylon, uh, we kind of usually aim for the front pylon. Obviously, it depends on coach. You don't have to do that. You could – any coach can do whatever. Let me go up a little more there. But but anyway, and then the third receiver's route here on the backside, the Y, can vary. It can basically be anything. Some sort of crossing route is what I would say. Um, that way it'd be an option or a third option in the progression. So it could be like a skinny post right there. Could be a, a true Y crossing route of some kind. Um, could be just a dig across the field. Anything or even a shallow cross. I'd say anything coming across the field. That way your quarterback – goes through his progressions one two and then the and then the backside guy coming across the middle and his eyes are always in one area rather than flipping flip-flopping across the field but anyway that's just me <coughs> so anyway i like this specific form of bench play versus both cover three zone and man from the three two but particularly particularly i like it more against zone picking on this play side corner right here so if it's cover three and he's got a drop to cover the corner who's open the flat in the on the quick out that linebacker's got a long ways to go if he's going to get there all right now if they are doing man this is where if he bites down this is where the corner i mean the safety has to get over top of that corner that's where the corner out's usually thrown all right and if you do some sort of play action in the backfield and you run this guy on an actual eight to ten yard dig is what it would be you don't want it to be no five yard dig so it'd be something like this if you run any play action get the linebackers to step up this is where he could potentially be open in the middle of the field, even in man, uh, late in the progression, third read, hitting him in the, in the middle of the field. So there you go. That is why I probably like it better at a zone, this particular play, um, because it definitely is going to make that cornerback decide quickly who he's going to cover. Is he going to stay up deep over top of the corner, corner route, I mean, or is he going to stay like in between? In that case, throw the out. All right. So that's probably why I like that play. Uh, more against zone, but it could work against man as well. So this is just a basic flood bench concept. All right, let's return to the slides here. Let's get to the next play. So now we're going to move on to what I'm calling a split right formation. What I mean by that is we got a little sniffer back in the backfield um, and only one guy split out wide to the right. So I'm just calling it split right. Obviously, if you call it something different, don't worry about that. All right, so let me actually switch back over to the huddle playbook again. All right, and I'll put the defense back out there again. Thought I had it on this one. Maybe not. I must not have, obviously. Corner, safety, corner. All right. <clears throat> so, now the bench variation I like personally the most for eight man is what I'm going to show you here right now. And I'm calling it an underneath shake combo, uh, and we're going to go to the weak side with it. All right. It's actually an underneath shake yeah, combo, but I have a Y cross. I'm tagging a Y cross on it. So what I mean by that is I'll start with the X. He's running the actual shake route, which is the corner route in this play. Come on. Why is it? 
Uh, it wasn't let sh it wasn't showing me my pointer. All right, so there we go. There's the shake. Here would be the Y cross route. All right, and then the final one would be the underneath route that I said. So he's just going to go like that, running a shoot route to the out underneath the formation. And it could – you might you wouldn't have to have him get depth and get up the field. I would just say come up here, act like you're going to – you're split blocking the DN on an inside zone split, and then he's releasing out. He might be right at the line of scrimmage. He might be a yard. In this case, I'm putting it about a yard and a half. But so, so with that first receiver running the shake route, breaking about two to four yards quickly, breaking it back out. I probably have too much going on here. Let me do it again. So it'd probably be more like one, two, getting vertical, and then getting back to the corner. That way, you're taking this guy out of the play if it's a zone or a man, and you have all this open grass uh, underneath of him. All right. Then the second receiver is looking to run the cross right there, the Y cross here. And you could have him run it a little more shallow if you really want this to be a levels concept with different levels and a high low. Uh, you could do that as well. Then the third receiver I got running that underneath route uh, straight into the flat. All right. And then all of this is going to happen with some play action as well. And quarterback can boot roll if he wants, if he needs to. Um, but the reason I like this play uh, because – once again, yeah, you're giving your quarterback a high-low read on the corner, and this play particularly holds off that safety and the weak side corner, really stretches the defense horizontally because now the linebacker, once again, has to get all the way out here if it's a, if he's the flat defender, which in most cases uh, they are. <clears throat> but it's going to hold the safety in the middle on the cross. He has to. If this guy is in man or zone, he's got to bail there. If flat is going to be your – is probably going to be your primary uh, throw in man or zone. Um until they finally step up and try to cover it, then you look deeper, all right? And you could even run inside zone here and turn this into a true bluff RPO if you wanted to. Um, just some extra stuff going on there. But so, yeah, there's a rundown of a couple bench concept variations here in eight man. Like I said, this would probably be one of my more favorite ones um, or ways to do it, especially if the corner is playing inside and trying to take away slant anyways, because a lot of coaches teach that even an eight man, even though a lot of teams don't really run eight a slants a lot anymore, but a lot of coaches teach them the corners to play just to shade inside. So if he takes them two steps, likely he's going to buy it in and be dropping. So you could hit this guy quick too as well, depending on how, how strong your quarterback's arm is. But so anyway, there you go. There's a basic rundown of a couple bench concept plays um, in eight man. So now I'm going to show you a quick cut up gif of how Miami, Florida ran bench last season against Florida State. So you can see number three, the far right receiver who actually catches this ball here. He's in the stack. There he is going on the out route. He just kind of hesitates. And, well, I said, let me say, let me double check. Yeah, the number, number three kind of hesitates and runs that delayed releasing shoot route to the flat area. The number one receiver in this case, the first guy on the top of the stack is number 15. You can't really see him. He runs off screen, but he runs that deep corner out first. All right. And then <clears throat> the third receiver, the H back tight end stays home to kind of roll the pocket right there. He hook, he kind of helps him roll. And then the fourth receiver on the backside, number five, is the one that works across on that crossing route. So kind of the same action as what I was just showing you, except for rather than a shake route, we have a stack combo and just running the original play. So it's a wide cross bench combo, but – it's out of a stack formation and there's not a shake route. It's just a, they're stacked. But anyway, so then as well as the whole other part of this is they fake a little outside zone. So that kind of slows down the defense a little bit. So it's a true play action to start the play. And then a quick out route by the guy that's stacked behind and he's wide open in the flat. So together that bench concept works out in this situation for the number two receiver, uh, number three to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup in the flat after the number one receiver took the safety and corner deep out of the play. But so there you go. There's just a quick rundown, brief gif cut up of how a division one team, Miami, Florida specifically, ran the bench concept this past season. And with that, I'm going to wrap up today's episode of the bench concept. Remember, if you guys have any questions for me, be sure to comment your question on this video and I'll get back with you as quickly as I can. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, please click subscribe. 
and check out all my previous videos here. And remember, it's all free. And like always, thanks for watching.